the Brownsville Independent School District is excited to be moving forward with in-person commencement exercises for the class of 2020. Clearly, the district is not able to carry out traditional graduation ceremonies. However, steps have been taken and procedures developed to allow us to proudly recognize our graduates while at the same time following the latest safety and health guidelines. There are four areas which graduating seniors need to be especially aware of. The first is the campus visit. Students will be notified of dates and times when they can go by their respective schools and pick up important items regarding commencement. The second area is the arrival at and entering into Sam's Memorial Stadium. Arrival times will be staggered and only specific gates at the stadium will be used. The third area is the distribution of diplomas. The fourth and last area is the exiting from the venue. Let's take a closer look at each of these components. BISD will have a curbside commencement pickup. The high schools will be notifying everyone as to what date and what time that we are available. Please, if you're not available during those times, just let us know. We are very flexible and we are already here from eight to four, so we can definitely schedule some curbside pickups. These pickups will be alphabetical order in order to limit the amount of, of, of cars in the line and also to save time. Some students have already started clearing with their campus. That's very important, senior clearance. Once you clear with your campus, you get everything that you need. You'll get your cords according to what you've earned. So these cords are already separated by the names. The other thing is the packet with your tickets and any information that's important to our parents or to our students. Uh, I would like to remind our parents, all seats are already designated and assigned due to COVID and due to safety. Students are only able to invite two guests so you will have your guest tickets in the packet that you will be receiving at your curbside pickup. As you enter our venue, Sam Stadium, one of the entrance to the stadium is going to be off Jefferson. This entrance, will, you will see uh, police and security officers there to guide you into the parking lot. We will also be monitoring throughout the event. We'll have designated police and security officers to assist you as you enter our venue safely. This is a guest ticket. So um, we have, uh, you'll have admit one, you'll have the section in the stadium where you are gonna be sitting, the row and the seat number. So it's very important that you pay attention to that, the section, the row and the seat number, because that's your designated space to sit. So the student is going to report to the stadium. However, they're not going to go to the field. So they will be reporting to designated areas around the stadium. The students have to pay attention to the time that they're reporting because they are reporting in 30 minute segments uh, to separate the drop off and the traffic and the location that they need to report to so that they know that they report to the right uh, location according to the order that they're being presented with their diplomas. Graduates will be seated in rows that stretch from one side of the field to the other. Once the graduate is recognized and has crossed the stage, she or he will wait on the track until all the students from that row have been named. The guests will exit through gate 8 and may proceed to meet up with the graduate at gate 13. At this time, we're asking that all individuals that attend our graduations to exit towards the west area of the parking lot onto West Elizabeth. You will see police and security officers at these sites to safely guide you throughout the event. As you can see, the high school principals and staff, as well as district personnel, are working diligently so that commencement under these unprecedented conditions can still be held. Please be alert to any updates to these procedures and keep in mind that if a particular commencement exercise cannot be held due to inclement weather, 
It will be rescheduled beginning the week of June the 8th. BISD thanks you in advance for your patience and cooperation.